Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. I was going to say Resident Evil 3 then, probably because I've literally just finished playing that game. Uh, Resident Evil Gun Survivor. When we last left off, we explored the hospital and the library, and we was making our way to the sewers. Found out some interesting information about the BAWs, found some cool guns to play with, played with some lickers, played with some hunters, even found a mole man. A um, little goblin dude, which was interesting. He's not written in any of the uh, umbrella literature. Hmm, maybe the goblin has a name. Who knows? Anyway, let's go to our last area, and the area that we're actually going to be going through. The arcade. You have used the cracked key. Excellent. different not quite the UCBS are they uh, hmm what is that indeed okay we have like monkey jaguar type dudes in armor which for some reason die in one shot yeah yeah these are the cleaners they are BOWs um, they have a human handler but they are actually um, BOWs themselves which is kind of interesting actually I like it Dino Crisis don't really think you're gonna be playing Dino Crisis in an arcade but hey you do you boo what have we got here shooting games and hard drive. Get it? Hard drive computer pun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. This area is actually really short. In fact, this video might be a little bit shorter than the others. But I've run out of time to do my recording. Now I'm back at work. But we'll see how we go. Ooh. What? What the? <laughs> Yeah, they melt when they die as well, which is weird. It's die, the Mole Vincent. Man. Die. <laughs> the animation. Yeah, they, they literally didn't spend any amount of money at all on this, did they? It's just... It, yeah, it's as bare bones as it could possibly get. Anyway, we got ourselves a key. So the goblin man is shooting at us from across the other building there. So he looks like he's going to be a pretty serious character in the story. Well, we got a key. So it only seems right to use the key. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, they will come, come up to you and like bonk you on the head. But it doesn't really do much damage at all. And like I say, I don't really understand why these heavily armed BOWs literally take one bullet to die. It's, it's odd, but just roll with it, I suppose. You know, it's best not to think too much about this game. You'll only get a headache. Let's go downstairs. See how quickly we've got the manhole cover there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch actually got a hit on me. Well, that won't do. That won't do at all. Um, okay. So we've got some slot machines here. And an F8 spray. Lovely. I'm definitely going to take that. Uh, I, this is weird. Look at these. Like, the, just the overall design of this place is bizarre. Like, does the croupier actually have to climb in over that table? I don't know, man. It's it's weird. It's Resident Evil and its weirdness. Uh, 
Okay, now this time, we're going to go for Handgun C. A Handgun C is good. I like Handgun C. It's my favorite. If we have a look at it, it's got 15 rounds. If we check it, it's the M800 Cougar G. This gun is famous for its excellent precision thanks to its rotating barrel blowback action. Yeah, so this gun is a good step above the one that we've already got. It fires relatively fast. Still, maybe a little bit slower than the standard handgun. It does a lot more damage, only has a few less bullets, but I think it has the fastest reload. Let's just try that again. I'm pretty sure it's got the fastest reload of any handgun. Yeah, so quick. I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. So I think it's about time to start getting the hell out of here. And here we are. See how quick the arcade is? It's kind of strange. I mean, I guess if you want to uh, speed run this game, for whatever reason that you possibly would want to speed run this game, you probably could do it, um, you know, by optimizing how long each way is. You would think that they would all be roughly the same length, but I, I guess not. Hmm. So this room actually said before we moved in, do not enter without a permit. So not quite sure what the hell's been going on here. It looks like they've been studying someone, following something. I don't know, man. Maybe this is where the mole man lives. Maybe we'll never know. Right, so we have Janitor Andy's diary. Maybe that's the the mole man, the goblin dude. Sewer caretaker, Andy's diary. September 6th. I've never seen him, but I heard that one called Vincent. That one called Vincent has become the city's supreme commander. Officially, he's an elite sent by Umbrella Headquarters. In truth, he is such a fiend that he would not hesitate to kill his friend if it would promote him. Well, since I live here in this dark sewer, it doesn't mean anything to me. September 20th, I heard a disgusting rumour. The new commander, Vincent, orders the facility personnel to do savage experiments every day on kids brought in from all over the world. I don't even know why those kids were brought to the city, but it sure is disturbing. Well, I don't want to get involved so long as it doesn't affect me. October 10th, it seems some terrible accident happened above ground last night. I don't know any more details, but I heard that the Commander Vincent has done something cruel. November 9th. That's a big jump. Uh, today at last, Commander Vincent came down here for an inspection. We made small talk, but I could see nothing but cruelty in him. When I took a picture of him as a souvenir, he became very angry. He's such a jerk. Just took, Do you just take photos of everybody? You're kind of a weird voyeur, you know. Definitely a goblin. A picture. Yeah, I think going through the arcades is the most interesting one. No, this is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. Who are you? Please don't kill me. I, I didn't know anything about you then. What? Stop. Okay, something very strange is going on here. Well, before we move on, let's grab these uh, <coughs> shotgun bullets and uh, get on. So this is where Mole Man lives. Hmm. It's the moly goblin dude. Strange. All right. Fair play. Let's move on. So we're Vincent. And this that dirty little voyeur took a snapshot at us. And now he's shooting us. Hmm. And he's got a pet hunter as well. Well, I guess there's not much we can do about that right now. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> the game likes to drop a liquor on you there. But we're not going to stay and play with the liquor. There's no point. 
That boy is terrified of us as well. Maybe that bump on the head after the helicopter exploded has uh, given us a change of heart, huh? Maybe. Anyway, let's go through to this paradise building. Do you find this paradise building quite hard to uh, activate the door sometimes? Hey, zombos! Right, let's waste that one quick and move over to the other side. Because we're pretty surrounded here. But that's okay. Get some quality headshots here. Check out that reload. It's just savage. Love this handgun. I also like that zombie model from Resident Evil 2. I think these all these zombie models from, from Resident Evil 2. He's got his guts hanging out there. Looks pretty cool. So we have the imprisonment area and office room. Okay, let's go to the office first, I suppose. Ooh, we have zombies. Of course we have zombies. We always have zombies. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, hello. You're a little bit hands-on today, aren't you? A little bit bitey in the office. Jesus. I know, I guess I'm your boss, but calm down. No need to get physical. Or is there a need to get physical? There we go. Strange. Something going on with the locals. I'm starting to get a little bit of hostility, you know? Like, something's not quite right in this town. Oh, this is nice. I've got a bit of literature to read. Hello. It's very suave, isn't it? Dapper gentleman or lady that works here. Prison Chief's Diary. Well, I guess it's him. October 20th. Today we received a reply to our report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs... Hmm, we've heard that before. Committed suicide the other day. The headquarters does not seem to have any suspicions, and it says that they plan to gather replacement guinea pigs soon. It's too late, but I'm starting to regret that I sent a fake report of mass suicide. Fake report of mass suicide incident? When it was actually a mass escape. Oh. However, as long as I stay in this city, it means death to me if I dare to oppose... Um, dare to oppose two command dare to oppose two commander Vincent okay sure uh, I'll never forget the cruel smile of Vincent when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison on that night it looked as if he were killing a, he looked as if he was killing a bunch of insects commander Vincent is indeed a very cold blooded person just as he's rumoured to be he is a true murderer I am in a position where I am supposed to report the truth to headquarters, but I am so afraid of Commander Vincent, I don't know what to do. Oof. Yeah, that's some pretty heavy stuff going on here. So I guess... Oh, we got the cell prison key. I guess the, they're not all evil here. Just mostly. And the Zeds are back. God damn it. Definitely got to do better at killing these guys. Can't have brain munchers just constantly getting up all the time. A little bit awkward, you know. Well, alright. I guess this is their early retirement fund. There we go. It's just like... The an even the animations are so cheaply and poorly handled. It's... I don't know, man. It's bizarre. It, this game is just so odd. I guess they just wanted to quickly fart something out. And we got this, which I'm very grateful for, but eh, definitely could have been better. I mean, this game isn't the sort of game that would have been any cop in the arcades. It's not that sort of um, light gun game. It actually does have a somewhat decent uh, story. And, you know, arcade light gun games need... Uh, light ga um, arcade games in general are reliant on a quick turnaround. You know, you can't have one person 
plugging away at a machine for hours because then there's only you know so much money going in you need to turn up to an arcade machine put all of your money in um have it completely bleed you dry and then get the next sap uh suck uh punter in that's how the arcades worked that's how the arcades always worked we were fools we knew we were fools but we couldn't help ourselves operation wolf was my thing right yeah these two here we want to be careful because literally if you start plugging away at them you're gonna have a bad time now this is what i'm saying about how hard this game is to emulate look how many frames we're losing here so if there are enough zombies on screen i guess even my computer gets brought to its knees i've got a ryzen 3700 uh it you know it's pretty fucking quick and even that struggles with this game it's only this game as well this game is just like i said before it's notoriously difficult to emulate uh, i can feel the frames just dropping but it's only in certain areas it's strange his neck has been cut open by a sharp blade oh my Ooh, another diary look at that diary as well the texture for that diary is actually straight out of resident evil 2. <clears throat> I can't remember what diary it is. I think it's the Keeper's Diary. I can't remember now. I did know. An Imprisoned Boy's Diary. September uh, 5th. 16 days have passed since I was abducted on a street in Congo by two men in black and was brought here. I didn't understand what was happening at first, but I gradually became aware of the truth of this city. We seem to be confined here to serve as guinea pigs for a medical company called Umbrella Inc. All the residents of the city work for Umbrella. Even the women and children are family of members of employees. What about... What, so the women are just wives. Is that what you're trying to say? Are there no female operatives in, operatives in Umbrella? Rude. Sexist. The guinea pigs seem to be gathered from all over the world. The guy in the next room is from China. The one in front of my cell is from Brazil. The rest are Russian, Japanese. It's like a world trade show. <laughs> what? Okay. Sure. Uh, it's strange that they're all around my age. The youngest is 16 and the oldest is 19 or 20. Those guys from Umbrella sometimes make us uh, take us to an arcade. Or to a nightclub so we can enjoy ourselves and relieve our stress but i won't let them deceive me i will escape from this place oops no matter what it takes i must anyway the most important thing to do now is to organize and gather our comrades for what lies ahead september 10th recently the others have been behaving strangely it seems that they put some kind of weird drug into our meals i sometimes lose consciousness too i have to be careful September 21st. I can't believe it. Another friend of mine, Chin, from the next room was taken to the factory on the mountain. I don't think Chin is coming back. He will meet the same fate as Anna or Jacob who disappeared last week. I know. I know what happens to those who are taken to the factory on the mountain. When they took me to a night club yesterday, I overheard a conversation that some factory workers were having. Under orders from Vincent, the commander of the city, they cut open our brains and extract some kind of material, whatever they call it. Oof. Fuck. All I can say is that Vincent is a devil. No. Not just Vincent. Even the women and children in this city don't treat us as human beings, but as guinea pigs. All the people in the city are evil. I will surely be killed if I stay here any longer. We have to hurry up and execute our escape plan. October 9th, the time has come. I have noticed the Umbrella people have been visibly disturbed for about a week or so. Rumour has it that there was a terrible accident at some Umbrella laboratory somewhere in America. All the prison guards seem to be very busy gathering information on the incident. So security isn't as tight. We've organised our comrades already. Sojavik and Enriquez are supposed to steal the keys from the guards. 
Sankhon and I will act as decoys, and Yoshikawa and Philip are in charge of gathering weapons. October 10th, we have decided on our escape route. The plan will be carried out at 11pm tonight. We have 20 members separated into two units, A and B. Unit A will go into the sewer through ventilation slot of the confinement room, while Unit B will use a rope to climb down from the surveillance tower. We will use the rope they use to tie us. If we fail, Vincent will surely kill us. But if we stay here, Vincent will order them to cut our brains. And cut our brains. Eventually. We're dead either way, but I'd rather die trying to escape. Yeah, that's actually pretty heavy. And apart from all the errors and just generally lack of proofreading, it's one of my favorite um, diaries in Resident Evil. So, these guys were executed by humans, I guess, because um, their throats have all been slit. Hmm. Strange. Anyway. Let's keep going. So. We have some choices here. Let's go through here. Yeah, so this is all about child experimentation, which, you know, even for Resident Evil, it's pretty heavy stuff. Right, okay, he's down. Let's see if we can get this guy next. Come on. Nice. And that will nab us the shotgun. Which is also very nice. We do like a good shotgun. Come on, dude. Okay. So... I'm going to fire off the rest of my bullets, reload, and I'm going to get out of here. Now we have another choice. We can either uh, go down the stairs. Um, the stairs will lead us to one place, to the underground. And the other door will lead us to the nightclub but unfortunately I'm out of time so we're gonna have to leave that for our next uh, installment so I hope you guys are enjoying this game I'm enjoying this game it's janky it's fucking weird it's trash but you know like a shit film this is a shit game but it's a good shit film if you know what I mean it's a good shit game you know it's entertaining garbage and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.